Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. I'm going to get some quick love readings out for you guys, okay? So we're going to start with Gemini. Gemini, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know in the way of love? Oh, Gemini's going first because it's your birthday. So happy birthday, guys. All right, what do we need to know in the way of love for Gemini? Anyone with Gemini placements? Love, love, love. What's important here, please? Okay, we got give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and at the bottom we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so you're being told to put yourself out there and be open. All right, to give this a chance, uh, you know, allow love to come in and even if it's not your usual type or your usual scenario or your usual... I want to say type they want you to keep an open mind because the person that's going to be the soulmate they're sending in for you is going to be different and that might be a good thing okay all right let's uh let's keep going here so in the way of love for gemini let's see what what let's see what the oracles are that was romance angels this is chakra wisdom oracle what else do we need to know for gemini in the way of love what's important here is there anything gemini should know recovery okay so this you could be recovering for oh okay so that might be what's going on so you haven't really been putting yourself out there because you're going through some kind of recovery from um maybe a lost love or oh boy have you so so much gotten um an education from whatever this is and um impartiality is at the bottom too so I feel like you're tr you've been staying real like balanced here, real Switzerland. Like I don't really like you're not um you're not allowing um a real relationship in. You might be kind of like flirty or you might go out on a date here and now there, but you're not you're still in recovery mode. You've gained a lot of wisdom about people, about love, about whatever's gone on here. Um, something happened and it's, you've just been taking in more than you're actually putting out and you're just trying to stay real neutral with it. If someone comes in, you just keep it real platonic or you keep it real, um, casual, not really committing to anything. And it's understandable because it looks to me like you're recovering from something and you know, you've learned a lot. You've learned a lot. Okay. Let me just, I'm going to put these, um, up here. All right, let's get a little more information. Maybe we can find out what uh, what else we need to know. Let's use um, Quantum Oracle and see what comes out. What do we need to know here about this reading for Gemini? Keep an open mind. Give your relationship a chance. Recovery, wisdom, and impartiality. You know, it also could be when I just got with impartiality, it could be that you've really not really found anyone that... Um, that really knocks your socks off. It's just like, meh, you know, a little, it's just okay. All right, you've got taking steps. I feel like you do have a soulmate out there that's different. And maybe that's the problem is you're just not seeing them for who and what they are because they're different. They're not your usual type. And your usual type, oops, that's way too many. Your usual type is, um, so different than the person who who um, is a soulmate out there and you're not really thinking of them in that way okay taking steps what else yeah this would really be in taking steps to letting someone really get into your heart but like they said yeah your status quo you are just staying status quo these are the same card impartiality and status quo feel exactly the same to me. Same old, same old. Not really, you know, taking the steps needed to go towards an actual soulmate or to, to give the person who might be right around you a chance to um, really mean anything. Yeah, look, behind the mask. So you're just kind of... Um, I feel like... 
behind the mask you might be in this the bottom of the deck victim mentality you're still uh, see the flood of emotions coming through the picture frame there and this person really is like you aren't showing people this side of you but this is how you feel you're damaged okay and i don't mean that in a negative way so please um, don't take it that way you're still in recovery mode you're trying to take in a lot of wisdom you're trying to just keep the same old same old you haven't taken these steps um now, you're taking steps to recovery, probably, but you're not taking steps to, um, I feel like you've got to change, like really put your, take the steps to get out from behind the mask and put your intentions out there. Um, because these are intention cards, taking steps and behind the mask, and then consciousness. This is the state of consciousness you're in. So it's making it very hard for you to actually drop the mask and take the steps. You're just, you're quietly staying in a victim mentality here. And spirit wants you to finish this recovery. Be, you know, realize that you've, you, you're going into the world. You're going into that university of life here. More um, informed. You're more informed now. Look, yeah, we all get hurt. Everybody gets hurt, no doubt about it. And most of us several times before we know that we are strong enough to see you know people for who and what they are another problem could be and i gotta say this because well it's staring me in the face and i feel is that i'm being called that i need to talk to you about this when i see this look how this person's ignoring he's looking at her but she's ignoring him um give your relationship a chance um also has to do with keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual expectation type and expectations it's like cupid's sending you someone but they want you to give this person a chance and this might be what's going on now with you or is about to go on with you you might be staying in this all you know this behind the mask victim mentality and not taking steps towards this person because you're just staying in this impartiality status quo because you're still recovering and gathering wisdom from what you went through but spirit might be saying look we sent this person to you damn it get over it and get moving because this is your soulmate and this is going to be a great relationship if you just take the mask off get out from behind the flood of emotions of what you went through in the past and take the steps towards them and allow it allow it to flow for some of you i feel like you're blocking and you might not really realize this is the soulmate that was sent to you to be your partner because they're different than the usual type but the usual type hurt you so i would be very careful about snubbing something or someone that the universe sent you so i and not only that it might just be that your heart's kind of closed off to that and this recovery that you need to finish up here is really the key to allowing someone in you might not be able to allow someone in right now because you're just staying so impartial status quo you know same old same old not really looking at the person in front of you not really seeing that they could possibly be a soulmate and really still being in this low vibrational state of because you're recovering so steps are needed here for sure and spirit would like to see you acknowledge and allow in someone else but the problem really really lies in the fact that you I feel like you might be afraid you're not ready for it. I'm going to grab you, um, I'm going to grab a couple of angel cards here. This is angel answers, okay? I just want to get an idea. Uh, spirit and angels, any one for the highest good for this Gemini reading. Is there anything we need to know about this reading? Love only for Gemini. No need to worry. Came out. Yes, and that could be a problem that you're very worried because you've been hurt before, right? No need to worry. And can we get another one, please? Just one. Listen to your intuition. And another one, please. So you might already be getting, intuitively, you might um, already be, you already might know this you might already be getting these messages like you know spirit wants you to listen to your intuition spirit wants you to move forward with your life spirit's been calling for oh that one was reconsider i'm sorry 
And what else? Anything else? So they want you to reconsider what the person in front of them or why is reconsider here? Is it about the person that they sent that Gemini is kind of ignoring? Is that what it is? They want them to reconsider that person? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So sorry guys. It's way too many compromise and forgiveness came out so is there oh my gosh that's where your recovery lies at the bottom wow okay so gemini your recovery the key to your recovery is this compromise and forgiveness uh now this doesn't mean you have to go back to somebody who hurt you this does mean that they want you to come to some kind of compromise and forgiveness in your heart okay um yeah and if this is someone who really has um okay so keep this in mind uh, if this is someone who didn't really purposefully hurt you um but you're upset about something they did or didn't do um spirit is saying reconsider maybe a compromise forgiveness and recovery of the friendship or relationship or whatever this was but spirit is saying there's no need to worry here please just listen to your intuition so your intuition's already telling you something about this so for most of you i do feel like there's a chance to bring this back together if you are willing to compromise and forgive to have this uh recovery for others of you it's not that you're going to get back together with this person but the way for you to be able to move on with a new relationship because there is keep an open mind this person's going to be different um is that you're going to have to compromise with spirit you might be looking for that real karmic -y kind of very magnetic relationship that's always really really bad it always turns out really bad but that might be what you're used to and believe me everybody is trust me until people become more wise that's the kind of relationship they continually look for which is why they continually have to learn lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson because it has to do with the type of person they're drawn to okay so what spirit's saying is no need to worry listen to your intuition reconsider compromise with spirit because the person we're sending you isn't the karmic -y type this is a positive partnership and we want you to give it a chance because this is the compromise that we want to send you we want to send you the right relationship and this is going to help you also be able to go through forgiveness and recovery of the last relationship you went through where you were harmed Okay, I hope this makes sense because I'm getting two different kind of messages here. One is for the people who this person didn't do them horribly wrong, um, but spirit wants there to be some kind of compromise and forgiveness within that relationship. And then others of you where spirit wants you to compromise with them on the person they send you because the person they're sending you is not karmic and you're used to wanting to be with a karmic. Totally understandable. We're magnetically... Um, drawn to our karmics for reasons right so they want you to consider maybe a you know it's like when your grandmother says to you you know it's you know important to love someone for who they are not um their looks right or you know that that bit of advice that you know a grandmother like person might give to you where they're trying to tell you look the bad boy and you know the wife beater shirt you know and muscle shirt whatever um that's you know looks like a gq model or the girl who looks like barbie these people might not be the best people in the world for you that doesn't just because they look good doesn't when you open that package these could be horrible dark people right so it's kind of like that advice from spirit where spirit's saying look compromise with us have forgiveness for the people who have hurt you in the past and get through that recovery because we're sending you someone that's perfect for you, but you're going to have to be healed enough and wise enough to see them when they're coming and to get out of this um, uh, behind the mask victim mentality here so that you can take the steps in a high vibration to enter into a true soulmate relationship with a high vibration soulmate who's going to be different than the type of person you're used to which is a good thing 
Okay, I hope that makes sense. For some of you, that'll be the story. For others of you, you're going to work on some, you're going to work something out with someone that you are going to recover a relationship with. Something that you thought wouldn't come back together or that you um, have been staying in this victim mentality and, and not really doing anything about it. They're saying recovering this is your key. So it depends on which person you are here, okay? All right, it's going to be different for each of you, I know. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to do um, Aquarius and no actually we're going to cut it off i'm going to do all the videos separate this month okay so if you're looking for any of the other signs look for them separate okay guys have a good one if you need a personal reading these are just little tiny quickies uh these are love quickies okay but if you need a full reading all my information is directly beneath this video in the description area which you're going to have to push something on your screen to get all that information to pop up um, it's going to be at the end of the title of the reading if you're on a phone and if you're on a computer it's going to say more information you're going to have to tap that that's how you're going to get the email the paypal and the price of the readings it's all down there all right guys i will talk to you soon have a good one bye